I do always with one the game. To get something new life, you don't have to ask for help or for opportunities. You have to take it. And I just take back my with you. Wait a minute. Does the Uber business if the Uber one is here? What the fuck the Uber Beast is doing here? And you came here, you talk trash on me, you think that I'm going to give you a match? Just go to hell. He takes the C4, he just hit his boss with a C4 explosive. He just hit his own boss with a C4 explosive. But why? He's going after Mr. Petras. Don't do what I think you're going to do. No, no, you be one. Don't, don't do what I think you're going to do. You are a bitch. If you want to face my cousin Jimmy, you will have to beat next week or go to hell. I am the brother for Mr. Pertgas and if you are being, I am shrugging out of the building. Oh, don't screw me. Don't screw me. I just ask you to leave the freaking building, alright? To leave this building right now or I will arrest you. Hey, hey, we need to talk about what happened. We need to talk. I think my cousin needs some security to check his back, man. He doesn't need one. Mr. Podcast can fire himself, he can beat the Uber Beast next week. What I'm much worried about is Daniel Paul. He can pass the building and I'm here to watch him. Doesn't cross him the line and enter in the building. That's Daniel so Wolf! Security camera in the back Mr. and Daniel Wolf enters in the arena. The Uber Beast is in the arena and it's just me, Jimmy Johnson from behind attacking the Uber one. Jimmy Johnson from behind attacking the Uber one. Just like at Insanity Mate, Jimmy Johnson gets a C4 in his hands and Jimmy Johnson thinks that he's going to face him at the reckoning but the Uber Beast has to beat his cousin right there. You mad Uber one huh? Are you mad? Don't you never think you could attack my cousin? He's your freaking boss! Jimmy Johnson just made explode the C4 and he did it once again! C4 explosion on the Uber Beast! That's Daniel Wolf! This is the security camera! Ladies and gentlemen, it will be the end of the show! But Daniel Wolf just get revenge over Mr. Podcast! Tonight, live from the Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena, 
It's GCW Collision Episode 4. We are sold out from Los Angeles. 5,000 uh, of fans right here in the arena. Welcome everyone to GCW Collision Episode 4. My name is Ned. I am the GCW Podcast Voice. And what a match card we get tonight for you. Mr. Simonak face Asad in a one on one match. Mr. Kushinentek takes on the Australian Dynamo and Tornado David Claude in a tag team match. Nathan Payne face Jerry Lydon in a no disqualification match. The Uber Beast takes on Mr. Podcast in a C4 explosive match. And if the Uber Beast beats Mr. Podcast, he will get his match against Jimmy Johnson. And we get Mikey Choose taking on Gentleman John Campbell in the main event. False. Can't. Anyway, match right here just for you in GCW Collision Episode 4. We are sold out and let's start this show right here and oh, that's Mr. Podcast right now. The owner of GCW and he made a match between him and the Uber Beast and if the Uber one beats Mr. Podcast, he, he is going to get... His match at GCW The Reckoning live after GCW Collision Episode 6 is going to play Jimmy Johnson in a C4 explosive match. The match that each and everyone want to see for so damn long. And now Mr. Podcast is here. He is going to talk. He is the owner of GCW and nobody likes him. He gets a pretty bad reaction. And tonight it's the Uber one taking on Mr. Podcast in a C4 explosive match right here and it was supposed to be the main event just like you saw it in the picture but Mr. Podcast decided to move the match earlier this week and he puts Mikey Chewes against Gentleman John Campbell in the main event because Mikey Chewes he is going to face Kenny Time at GCW the Reconning in the final of the world title tournament Ladies and gentlemen, tonight it's a true pleasure. Hey, ho, can you shut your mouth a little bit? No, it's no more a pleasure to be here just like I was going to say. Because you, Quarky fans, you still booing me so far. And I hate that fact. I hate the fact that you booing me. By the way, tonight I came here because I have an announcement. Ah, my heart. He is going to ruin the show so far. As you may saw it, I have injured my arm last week because of the Uber one himself. So, you do all want the Uber one to put his hands on me, and the Uber one wants to put his hands on me. But this won't work tonight because I'm injured and I have a clear doctor's note who clearly do not compete. Day. He so it. I'm not going to compete into a C4 explosive match today. And I know you are upset about that. I know you want to see me beating the Uber one. And I know you want to see me throwing a C4 in his face. But as the owner, I have to do the best job I could do. And I have to take care of all the GCW local so lol just like he's going to do that to compete today but I have found a replacement for tonight's matchup against the Uber one and I believe that this man he is going to beat him like that he's not gonna have to face the Uber one at GCW and I mean that my cousin Jimmy he's going to face the Uber beast tonight in a C4 explosion you were one if you beat Jimmy, you got your match against Jimmy. Jimmy, if you beat the Uber one, you are not going to face him at GCW to be coming in that. But you want, I might think. And I know you're going to do to the Uber one the same thing you did. To so now Jimmy is back in Running away, like a coward. What, you don't like it? Well, you'll have to deal with it, because this is the replacement I found for you, because I am not able to wrestle. You don't understand that I have worked my freaking hell to 
worst excuse of the freaking world. This is why Jimmy is going to replace me, and I hope he's going to beat him, and I hope he's going to give the Uber one a lesson. He will never forget about it. He has a game plan. I told you he has a game plan to put Jimmy Johnson against the Uber one right before GCW the recording. I told you and this is what I think and I mount my words to this he has a game plan. Seriously he do have a game plan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my first guest of this time and it's Fahad the weekend. Fahad last week Asa betrayed you so bad with turning his back on him and he turned his back so bad. But I wanted to know how do you feel after Hassa turned his back on him and attacking him inside the tag team match when you were thinking that you can get each other's back? I feel terrible after what he did to me. I had never thought that he could turn his back on me first before right now. And I didn't turn my back on him. But he was so frustrated when he did it first. You know how tag teams are. They beat the living hell out of each other, and the next night, they can be partners. But as it turned his back, I'm reversed. And I feel upset about this. That's why right now, I don't know where he is. But I'm going to find him. And Kid is looking crappy as right here tonight. Things do it! Hell yeah, here we go for the first match of GC, the BU Collision Episode 4. It's Tornado, David Clutter and the Australian Dynamo making their way. And the Australian Dynamo, he is going to face Kush Baby, Kushy Baby, Mr. Kush for the GC, the BU Global Championship at GC, the BU TV Conning. After GC, the BU Episode 6, it will be a live high pay per view you doesn't want to miss. To miss. And tonight they are facing this tactic. GCW Global Champion Mr. Kush and Intik Live. When it is the first match of GCW Collision Episode 4. And David Claudio, Tony the David Claudio, he is going to face Intik in a steel sharing match. But if Intik attacks Claudio with a steel share in the match, he will be disqualified. This is the match Mr. Podcast made for Antic. Antic was sick of David Claudio being frustrated and attacking announcer referee each and every one for working in the back each and every freaking way. And the Australian Dynamo all the way making use his big mouth. A double tact he was kicking by the way. And Mr. Kush just put David Claudio out. And you saw David Claudio with uh, an SPW t-shirt. The Australian Dynamo, I think he is going to make the tag. No, he didn't do it. He didn't make the tag so far, he just put him out. Yeah, the Australian Dynamo is trying to run away. He doesn't have his swing with him, I think. The Australian Dynamo running his mouth about Mr. Kush then it's a joke the fact that Mr. Kush won the global championship at GCW the emergence by eliminating him in the final of that rumble he won his mode and it's only because of drugs and weed and all of these things and a beautiful German suplex by the way and Yosha and Dynamo feels upset about that he attacks Mr. Kush so many times that match was supposed to happen last week at the last episode of GCW, GCW Collision Episode 3. But during GCW Insanity and GCW Collision Episode 3 and GCW Collision Episode 2, Mr. Kush wasn't able to compete because someone had to attack him with a swing to brush his whips and he wasn't able to take his bookings as global champion during two freaking weeks and the Australian Dynamo 
just have injured Mr. Kush, but Mr. Kush injury is now removed. And Antic just and he's just legal right here. Antic continues to work on him and beautiful close line on the Australian Dynamo and a big kick to the net. So Antic is going to face David Claudio at GCWD recording because Antic feels sick of David Claudio's action. Hmm. Pinfold and two count. So David Claudio he says then Mr. Podcast is one of the best men to ever lead the locker room. This is why David Claudio doesn't get punished and everything like that because Mr. Podcast is friend with David Claudio, they get a friendship and a beautiful reverse suplex and a backbreaker suplex and a leg drop. And Antic just tried to put down the Australian Dynamo for the second time. Beautiful drop kick to the back, like a gentleman by the way. So David Claudio attacks Jordan hang time, he attacks also uh, the announcer, the interviewer said this is Sam Doctor. And he attacked also the referee who's inside the match, TJ Hyde. He attacked them. Antic just saved the referee once at GCW Collision Episode 3. They meet each other last week in a steel chair match. And Claudio was already frustrated. Claudio feels sick of this, of Antic. Mr. Podcast doesn't decide to punish him. He just punish Antic because he gets a good friendship with David Claudio. Mr. Podcast is the true definition of son of a bitch. And projection to the corner of the ring by David Claudio. And these two are going to meet each other at GCWD Reconning. Don't miss that huge high pay-per-view event we are going to show you. It will be live and it will be a great event right here. And David Claudio taking Antic, putting him down. Beautiful elbow working to Mr. Kush. David Claudio when he's smart on Mr. Kush and he's going to put him out. No. And Mr. Kush much like to get out, but Antic from behind a beautiful super kick by David Claudio. And David Claudio takes Antic back. Eh? Projecting him the corner of the wing. Beautiful atomic job. David Claudio he want to finish. Oh, Tornado DDT. And another Tornado DDT. And a big someone job by David Claudio over Antic. And Antic tried to defend himself. He's alone in that corner. And another German suplex. 16 freaking German suplex at SummerSlam. God damn it. Oh. Just break the guy. Oh yep. And David Claudio now attacks Intic with a steel chair. Intic isn't so good with a steel chair and now the tag team of David Claudio and the Australian Dynamo is just attacking Intic. And Mr. Kush, he feels sick about that. He's attacking the Australian Dynamo right now. He's taking on David Claudio, he's just defending his partner. David Claudio, who came from SPW. And Antic just fight back David too. And a pile driver. And the referee just tries so badly to bring these four, two men, these four men, in the ring right now. But David Claudio still outside. Antic is taking on the Australian Dynamo. And Mr. Kush is now attacking David Claudio with a metal sheet. Mr. Kush just make a leg, leg submission to David Claudio. Hmm. And it's a two count. Three. They are counted outside of the ring and if one of two legal men came counted outside of the ring, they will be disqualified and eliminated. So it will be turned into an handicap match. And a beautiful court will kick on the back and the head of David Claudio. Mr. Kush pins Davy. One, two, and three. Mr. Kush gets the victory over David Claudio and the Australian Dynamo. And David Claudio looks upset about that one. The Australian Dynamo looks upset too. And now here we go. Mr. Kush goes after them. Mr. Kush goes after the Australian Dynamo. He will just put him outside of the ring like that. 
And no, the Australian didn't much like to run away. He ran away. Mr. Kush celebrating his victory, David Claude looks freaking upset. And he is. David Claude is fucking upset. And Antic just celebrating his victory with his friends. Oh, that's Jimmy Johnson. Family disturbance. Told you he has one. So I don't think it's he really has four game plans. I'm tired of you shit. And I think you don't know what you're doing with you, Bobon. What? I don't know what the hell you're freaking doing with him. So I think there is no match between me and him. He's leaving? Hey, Seriously! You're not gonna leave me. You're not gonna leave me. You are freaking bastard. You are freaking son of a bitch and you're freaking good and you should come back here. So cousin calling his cousin the son of a bitch, insulting his NT right I will do it. I will wrestle the Uber world tonight. I will beat him and I won't have to face him at GCW to be good. Our history will be done. But and the one condition. When I will beat the Uber one, you will have to give me a title match opportunity. When I will He is never going to get a title match. You get your title match, I wish you happy. And Jimmy is pissed off and that's FBK attacking us just before us at matchup. FBK just says I am going to find him and kick his ass after what he did to me last week. And this is what he is doing. He is just kicking us at his ass. He is attacking him in the back. From behind, man. From behind, like a gentleman. Boom. God. And if we can continue to attack Assad. Oh god damn it. AVK just get retribution right here. Attacking us at from behind in the locker room. AVK continues to attack him. Boom, that microphone attacks in the head. Asad can't defend himself. AVK continues to kick his ass and to kick his face. To kick his everywhere he can kick Asad. He is hurt. He is definitely not going to be in condition to wrestle later.
Dude, come on, man. We need to go to a commercial. Is it? You think you can attack me like the dog? You're a bitch. You won't miss it tonight. Oh, just like if BK says he won't whistle tonight. We need to go for a commercial break and check Assad's condition. The Prophet Legacy is coming to you, all of you because this is the prophecy. I am the Prophet. I am Collision. I am going to be your savior because all of you fans need to be saved. And this is why I, the Prophet that I am, Collision, is coming to GCW at the reckoning. The prophecy will begin. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back in GCW. And moments ago, what happened was a huge attack from the PK, kicking Ansad's ass from behind. And Ansad, he is not in condition to wrestle. This is what happened moments ago before the commercial break. FBK kick the living hell out of Ansad and says he is not going to wrestle. But, ladies and gentlemen, I heard that Mr. Podcast will give us news about Asa's condition and what he is going to do for the next match. So, if we can get Mr. Podcast, we are going to check up about the news he has for us. So, Mr. Podcast, you tell me the new you have something to say one of you. So, what do you against me right now? What's um, after what happened between Asad and FBK, with FBK brutally attacking him, Asad is not even allowed to compete tonight, so I decide to remove Asad's match against Mr. Smonak and he will wrestle him next week on the next episode of GCW Collision. By the way, the second match tonight will be replaced by another one-on-one -on -one match as Orphek will be joined by Bloodwed to wrestle the Wonder Boy in a one-on-one -on -one match right here in GCW, right next. So the Wonder Boy will have to wrestle perfect in a one-on-one -on -one match. By the way, I decide to make another match for GCW the Redoner, who is going to be Fahad MK versus Asad in a one-on-one -on -one night two match. And they will settle their difference on the ring at GCW. WD returning this history in hand at the return of so far. So as I said I wish you the best of luck to get back next week and to us of Mr. Simonak and FBK will receive a suspension of two weeks for having brutally attacked as a, like that. So there is going also to be a no contact clause between FBK and Ansad and the GCW Recovered. Two week suspension? God, seriously! Ladies and gentlemen, that was between Wonder Boy and Open is right next. Just for that two week suspension? Oh god, come on. You. He's going gonna to be crazy, FVK is going to be crazy, and I pretty much think after that he's going to kick Mr. Podcast ass, just like that, just saying. But right now, he replaced the match between Asad and Mr. Simonek to put Orphek and Bloodwet on the map against the Wonder Boy, right here tonight. And here comes Bloodwet, um, joining Orphek, the Israeli icon, right here inside the ring. And Rudwet is controlling that guy, Orphek. 
and I don't know how did blood red control on him and it may be looking like some type of mind control between Orphak, the Israeli icon and blood red but this man is going to face the wonder boy right here tonight a superhero who doesn't need to be controlled by someone but the, the two week suspension I feel bad for Fahad ABK but they will see the difference in the ring at GCW the recording and I think this is going to be a huge match but to leave the suspension I think FBK will have to pay a lot of money and I think this is what FBK is going to do but here comes the Wonder Boy making his way to the ring he is going to face off like the Israeli icon the Wonder Boy huge superhero and ladies and gentlemen one of the match announced was going to happen at GCW the recording is this Elimination match required a number one contender for the global championship with Gary Emmy, the Mantra Kerun, the Wonder Boy, Stone Cold E.T., Blood Red, Orphak, Fire Nice, and Gentleman John Campbell. So it's a nine man elimination match required a new number one contender for the global championship and you can eliminate your opponents by pinfall only or submissions. But ladies and gentlemen, it will be time for the one on one match. And of talking, let's to action and here we go for this one on one action between the wonder boy and Orphek the Israeli icon and the wonder boy is already attacking Orphek Blue's Red he is trying to intimidate the referee Blue's Red he is an intimidating people he is one of the intimidating character in GCW and the wonder boy makes a beautiful leg job to you Orphak is where the icon and now what a pain painful time one and Orphak kicks out and the Wonder Boy is making a beautiful cut will kick to Orphak this while the icon taking me back big punch and a big kick by the Wonder Boy and the Wonder Boy is taunting a perfect and ladies and gentlemen GCW Collision Episode 5 is going to be live from Tokyo, Japan, as GCW Collision Episode 6 too, and as GCW Terror in Tokyo too. Huge inside pay per view night one, it will be a huge GCW event night two. It will be a huge GCW versus ICW versus SPW versus Wingson Pro Zero pay per view in Japan. Just after GCW the recording and after GCW Bloodbat it will be short life because before GCW Bloodbat it will be called Oh and a green mist to Orphed to Orphek Green Mist Green Misting his face after GCW the recording it will be GCW Jackpot at Vegas also and the Wonder Boy huge green mist to Orphek the Israeli icon and he is in the corner of the ring and here we can run uh, from the third rope. Orphak just put down and a big one shot by the Wonder Boy. It will be a painful time. One, two, and three. The Wonder Boy just beat Orphak, the Israeli icon, and Blood Red is not happy about that. Because Blood Red wants Orphak to make bleed, to make bleed people for him. And the Wonder Boy just catch the victory. Beautiful victory by the Wonder Boy right here and Orphak he's done and the Wonder Boy is celebrating with his fans right now it's a beautiful victory for the Wonder Boy who is looking to impress people before his match at GCW TV Gunning and these three men are going to be on the ring at the same time and Blood Red was watch the Orphak was watching Orphak destroying, being destroyed by the Wonder Boy and the Wonder Boy makes a beautiful leap, leaping plancha to Blood Red and the Wonder Boy just dominates both of these two men still celebrate his victory the Wonder Boy is on fire the prophecy is to save each and every one of you the fact is this is to be your savior this is my mission this is why I'm coming at GCW the Reckoning. The prophecy will begin. 
And I will start to take each and every one who bears that prophecy and it begins with you. Wonder boy. You should be better. Be careful. Because you will never know when I will save these people from you. So she went up night, joining them when she was in fight, not on saying the note of quantification, and you are going to be inside with her when Nathan gets away inside. Do you have anything to you want to say to Nathan Payne? Let me tell you one thing, if any of this teeny fat ass sick to pen appeals, I'm going to kick their ass in that match. And don't forget that I've got back to you. Tonight I face off against Jer Lennon in a no DQ match. The war that seems eternal is soon coming to an end, but it will be in our hands. And it starts as well with tonight, as I will destroy Jer Lennon. Raid, Mr. Podcast sent me a little message to tell you the next GCW collision we're facing Sri Lanka in a steel cage match. Ladies and gentlemen, the next match is the no disqualification match. Let's watch the preview of this match. Eight months ago, Nathan Payne owed the ring to Borg Jerry and Sled. Then do it once again. Oh, the bad driver once again. I can believe it. You did it two times in the table. If you did it a third time, and for the third time, Jerry Lennon is injured. He loses his leg. He broke his leg. Jerry must break his leg. And it is true the floor just and Jerry Scary right now. We do all have things then he will never be back in pro wrestling, but when he was about to return, the sect I watched Jerry and returns by attacking him. And Ankit is just fighting Jerry and in the back. Antic is just fighting Jerry and in the back before we had the stage match against La Secta. I don't know what the hell is that. Jerry Lennon decides to take his revenge over Nathan Payne in the set. Oh, and right now the fights begin with Jerry Lennon and Nathan Payne outside of the ring. Nathan Payne, who have attacked three months of right before this match. And Jerry Lennon is on the ring and the fight, the, the crowd found the fight much more interesting than the match already. Jerry Lennon is inside the ring. And now he goes outside, he will jump over, over Nathan Payne, he will jump over, he is still fighting with him. Jenny Lennon still fights Nathan Payne.
that's not in pain. What the hell is doing here? What the hell not in pain is doing here? And you saw me free. That's Jay Wiener. Jay Wiener with that hell book from the top of the winnings. And the referee just end the match right here. The referee ends the match. And Jay Wiener is fighting not in pain so badly. And here we go, Nathan Payne is making his entrance inside the squad, seeking to take on Jerry Lennon. They get a huge history and with the sage, he's joining Nathan Payne right here tonight. Nathan Payne gets some backup. This is the match each and everyone want to see this week. This is what I pretty much think right here. And speaking of Geraldine, and here we go. Geraldine is coming to the ring, joining uh, this time, joining him by Siri Manta. Then who just joins Geraldine in the ring? to be make sure that nobody will interfere in this match and where the sage he's just not in Spain's backup and when three months are learned then Wade will be joining Jernin and three months are say so sorry when where the sage learned then I fucked up these two when where the sage when so we are fucked up these two for the third time when Jerlin and learned then and when Srimanta learned, then what they say will be joining Nat and Payne. In this match, Srimanta asked to join Jerlin and to make sure nobody will interfere in this match. And the referee is still catching these two men and try to not let make them fight. To not let them fight. But Jerlin is attacking Nat and Payne with a candle stick, a pure Q. Taking a trip to Taiwan, Nathan Payne with a beautiful home drag over Jerlina. Nathan Payne taking a baseball bat, attacking Jerlina with it. Jerlina trying to get back up under his feet. Jerlina drop kicking Nathan Payne. Beautiful drop kick to Nathan Payne's chest right here. And Jerlina is taking the baseball bat, attacking Nathan Payne so far, so badly, so badly. And Nathan Payne is done right now. And the pinfall, one, two, and there's no disqualification, so if someone interferes, he is not going to be disqualified. And the pinfall by Nathan Payne, and Journey and kicks out at two. So there's not going to be any disqualification if someone interferes. And the referee, the referee still try to put three Manta and wait the stage out inside by side before the match next week and Nathan Payne takes Sumanta out of the ring Sumanta is beside Jer uh, sorry beside Ray the Sage and Jerlin and kicks out Nathan Payne I get too much excited for this match and here we go let the fight begins between Wade and Sumanta and here we go the fight begins dude the fight begins and Jerry is still fighting Nathan Payne inside the ring. This is one of the pinnacle match of tonight. This is the beauty of GCW and Nathan Payne trying to get back onto his feet and a pile driver by way the side over Sumanta. Jerry and still try to wake up back under his feet too. Where the Sage is fighting Sumanta Sen. They doesn't have weight so much long to fight. Man, huge intensity between these two men. They want to kick the living hell out of each other. And Wade was not happy after what happened at GCW Insanity. Three beat and that splash from the airborne. 
Samantha beat. Oh, and Nathan Payne goes outside. Samantha who have beat. Where the sage at GCW insanity getting revenge over him. Eight months he was waiting to get his revenge. And now where the sage is upset. He's still taking on Samantha. Jerry's taking on Nathan Payne. Nathan Payne with a beautiful suplex over Jerry Lennon. And Oh, the match is ruined, and that's Inkit and Hypnosis behind him. Hypnosis behind Inkit. He gets a personal history with him. Hypnosis gets personal history with Inkit in 24. This is Nathan Payne's start team partner from Sector. And Inkit was trying to join them when he saw they was in trouble. And now Hypnosis still continue to attack him with the baseball bat. Continue to put Inkit in 24 down. This is freaking amazing, dude. This is freaking great. This is greatness. And hypnosis just put Inkit away. Hypnosis still try to destroy Inkit in 2024. Hypnosis gets a lot of heat against Sector. And Inkit is out. Inkit in 24 is just freaking out. And Hypnosis, he's happy. Hypnosis is happy. He is not a freak. What the hell is that? Let drop from the top of the way of the, of the stage from out of nowhere. That same guy who have attacked hypnosis last week in the main event. He's just making a name for himself right now. He just got a ten point. Two times he make a shocking attack on hypnosis. Who the hell is that guy? What type noise then he is riding with Sector? He is the newest member of La Secta, but who the hell is that guy? I mean shocked man. That you just take hypnosis to the back right now. And he I think he is going to the ring. Ain't it a 24? He have tried to help Secta, but that guy just make a freaking impact in GCW collision. And La Secta, they are rising again. La Secta rise again. This match is done. The briefly we put the match out, but La Secta is rising. This is what you have to retain. Nathan Payne, when they say Chinky Day 24 and this newest freak, and look out at Srimanta Sen and Jerry Lennon's physical condition right now, they are done. Just like hypnosis and La Secta rise. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Backstage Nasa Sikta. Why is again inside the ring this work of my guest of Afghanistan? Tomato Day Claude. So, don't ask him a freaking David, question, he's after upset. After you have been losing the back in match, and you have been facing the second in the ring, do you think you can beat him? Alright, he's upset, he attacked him, and he attacked Sam Dutchum the announcer just when he said do you think you can beat Antic? David Claudia feels upset. Projection projecting him to the locker room. Not to the locker room, to the to the room. To the locker. Oh. To to what the fuck you want to call it? 
and David Curtis team continue to attack that poor announcer who has been attacked by the same guy at GCW Insanity. I feel bad. I feel pretty bad. He doesn't have to attack him like that. Just before the main event, dude. Not the main event because the next match is the Uber one versus Jimmy Johnson. But David Claudio, he doesn't have to attack that guy. Leave him alone. And why he's running away like that? Why did he's running? Oh, and that's Hintik. This is why David Claudio is running like that. And Hintik just saved the announcer. Antic attacking David Claudio. Antic just save the announcer. And Antic just attacks David Claudio. Antic is pissed off about all the decisions they make about him and about David Claudio attacking an answer like that. Antic is pissed to you. Antic is truly pissed about what's happened. Projecting David Claudio on the wall of the arena, of the locker room, and a backbreaker suplex. Antic just punished David Claudio. And David Claudio, he is going to be more upset after that. He is going to be more pissed. But David Claudio receives a lesson. David Claudio is receiving a lesson right now. And that suplex on the metal sheet. That's an amazing suplex. And now the Russian leg sweep. It's Antics finish. Antics finisher right here. David Claudio is pissed off. Antic just attacks David Claudio like that. But ladies and gentlemen, it will be time for the next match. Antic just screwed David Claudio's interview, but he just saved the interviewer of GCW. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the match each and everyone has been waiting for so damn long. C4 Explosive Deathmatch between Jimmy Johnson and the Uber Beast. And here we go, Jimmy Johnson is making his way on the arena to face the Uber run with a new tier by the way new haircut too Jimmy Johnson is looking to beat the Uber one today cause like that he doesn't have to wrestle him at GCW the weekend. And normally it was supposed to be Jimmy Johnson. Not wrestle tonight. Jimmy Johnson wasn't supposed to wrestle tonight. It was supposed to be the Uber Beast against Mr. Podcast. And it was supposed to be if the Uber Beast beat Mr. Podcast, he will be able to face this man at GCW the weekend. But Mr. Podcast gets his arm injured after what happened last week with the Uber Beast asking him and forcing him to give him an opportunity to, to give him the match for GCW the recording. Mr. Podcast say, well, if you beat me, I will give you that match. But Mr. Podcast's arm is injured. Yes, that son of a bitch arm is injured. And he replaced Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson asked 
I don't want to do this, why the hell you put me in that violent match so far? They've been playing with C4 explosive saying so to them lying in. Mr. Podcast say don't worry. You will face you won't face him at the recording because you will beat him. I get a game plan. Jimmy Johnson say I don't want to play wrestle him to face him tonight. I screw this and Mr. Podcast say you are going to get a title match if you beat him. And Jimmy Johnson say when have you beat him I want a title match against him. So if Jimmy Johnson doesn't beat the Uber one tonight, there is going to be a one on one match between them. A GCW the recording and the Uber BC is making his way on the arena, receiving a huge crowd ovation. Jimmy Johnson is just begging him to come down inside the ring. The Uber one tells him to back up. The Uber One Empire Legend. He was supposed to be introduced into the PWP Hall of Fame, but PWP closed his doors and make a fusion between Thursday Night Mayhem to create that beautiful show and that beautiful federation. Then is GCW Global Co Wrestling, no more Global Championship Wrestling, Global Co Wrestling. And here we go, the match start right here with a beautiful drop kick. So it's a C4 explosive death match, which, mean, which means explosion each and every two minutes. And there is no bulls, no wifi we inside. Just a freaking ball between two men. All around the arena. One of the greatest rivalry in 2014 in 2014 and there is C4 all inside this ring and the Uber one just hit Jimmy with a C4 Jimmy Johnson making explode C4 in the Uber one space thanks GCW collision episode 1 and thanks PWP and here we go with the first blast this is a violent match it's a brutal match you can bleed inside this match, you can end your life, you can end your career, you can even die in the ring. This is why this match is so freaking violent. And oh, just like I tell you, that freaking explosion, the Uber Beast is done. Jimmy Johnson is the first man under his feet. Jimmy Johnson continues to hit the Uber one. And the Uber one is back under his feet. And the Uber one just making a leg submission over Jimmy Johnson. Another explosion in Jimmy's face. Pinfall time one. And Jimmy Johnson kick out. Jimmy still continue to attack the Uber Beast with that C4 explosive. And that explosion on the Uber one. Beautiful move. Hellbow. And another Hellbow. Trying to make explode another C4 just like that. That's amazing, man. That's amazing. And Jimmy just make past the Uber be through the third rope. Jimmy is taunting the crowd. He is dominating this match. Jimmy Johnson say. Oh, and a winning Swanton over the third row. Beautiful move. Tempered Swanton. Swanton bump over the third rope. 
and Jimmy just say then he is going to do the same thing then he did to me the groupage four months ago he just hands me the groupage career it wasn't four months ago it was in February so if you count February, March, April, May, June, July, August seven months ago and another explosion on Jimmy Johnson big cut red kick Jimmy wants so badly to get his hands on the Uber one just like the Uber ones want to do it but in the same time the Uber one want to get his hands on Mr. Podcast this match is so freaking violent I don't think there needs going to be a C4 explosive match as GCW Insanity so with the recording and that, that's right I don't think it's going to be a C4 explosive match as GCW the recording because if you watch the intensity of this match you can do a match like that two times or you will freaking freaking die and now the uber one is just attacking Jimmy and a beautiful move by Jimmy Johnson and the uber beast Jimmy taking a wood piece trying to not be get involved in this explosion just like the uber one do but there's another elder explosion who take both of them Jimmy attacks the Uber Beast right here. And the Uber Beast is bleeding. You can't bleed in a C4 explosive match. This match is so freaking violent. This match is so freaking violent, dude. This is a huge violent match. And that's Mr. Podcast. There is a game plan. Mr. Podcast attacking the Uber one when the Uber one was trying to back it up. And Mr. Podcast attacking the Uber one with a C4 explosive. Mr. Podcast still continue to attack him. Projection on the airplane. And once again, on the winning, Mr. Podcast trying to put the Uber Beast down. This was the game plan Mr. Podcast have for the Uber Beast. You don't have to mess to mess up with Mr. Podcast's authority and Jimmy Johnson's authority and also David Claudio's authority too. You don't have to mess with these three men's authority. And Mr. Podcast is just making pay the Uber Beast for his action. Jimmy Jensen is alright. And I think Mr. Podcast arm injury was just a joke. An excuse for this game plan to put the Uber Beast in a match like this. The Uber Beast trying to defend himself and Mr. Podcast is running away. He is running away. Mr. Podcast is running away. That's Daniel Wolf. Daniel Wolf is taking his revenge right now. Daniel Wolf is attacking Mr. Podcast, taking his revenge for the second time in a week. And Daniel Wolf just put down Mr. Podcast like that, man. This is freaking amazing how that could happen. Daniel Wolf came from the crowd. He was still in the arena just like last week. As we are live from the same place, just like last week. And Daniel Wolf continued to attack Mr. Podcast with a briefcase. He came out from the crowd. He just ruined Mr. Podcast's plan to make Jimmy win the match right here. And Daniel Wolf comes back inside the crowd. He still doesn't have a job in GCW. And right now, Jimmy Johnson was thinking that he could care and take the opportunity but I don't think this is what Jimmy Johnson could do because the Uber Beast goes back inside the ring Jimmy Johnson with a drop kick, the Uber Beast with a cat real kick the Uber Beast continue to put down Jimmy Johnson 
Jimmy Johnson is down. There's another C4 inside. He just made him explode inside Jimmy Johnson. And the UBC is trying to pin him. No, running moonshot in the ropes. And another running moonshot. No. And the Uber one is taking care, he is dominating the match right now. And this is one of the most physical matches Jimmy Johnson ever had to wrestle. And this is a huge match for Jimmy Johnson against the Uber one right here. Oh, and a beautiful move by Jimmy over the Uber beast. And Jimmy Johnson, and an explosion. And beautiful move. Right here, once again, Jimmy Johnson taking the Uber Beast back up. Big DDT over the Uber one. And Jimmy Johnson take the Uber one back up once again. And another big tap DDT. I'm in shock. I am in shock with the level of intensity we just saw in this match. This is one of the greatest matches in GCW we ever had to do and to see and to give you the fans. And now a Tornado DDT. Tornado DDT. What a Tornado DDT. And Jimmy Johnson trying to project the Uber Beast but he failed. And the Uber Beast get back up under his feet with a leg drop. These two men are done. This human and another explosion. This human are done beating each and everywhere. And Daniel Rob sent Mr. Podcast back in the Nucky room. Gets out of the crowd and comes back from the crowd too. And now the Uber Beast is taking care of Jimmy Johnson. So far. Right here. And a beautiful inverted backbreaker. And he just make him pass through the third rope. What a physical match we just watching right here. And the Uber one is taunting the crowd. He is waiting for Jimmy Johnson. Packing him up to get back inside the ring. We told to see for Jimmy Johnson never knew what the Uber one was capable to do. But the Uber one is capable to do this. And Jimmy Johnson is trying to run away. Jimmy Johnson is trying to run away. And the Uber one came back up. Running Moonshot from the winnings. Running Moonshot from, Moonshot from the winnings. What a running Moonshot from the winnings. And the Uber Beast brings Jimmy Johnson back inside the ring. There is no run away this time. You can't run. You have to pay for your actions. Jimmy, the Uber Beast just gets retribution over Jimmy Johnson before GCW the recording. And the Uber one brings Jimmy Johnson back. And oh beautiful double arm suplex by the Uber Beast over Jimmy. The Uber Beast taking him up back too. Beautiful inverted atomic drop. Beautiful inverted and another explosion. And the pinfall time one, two. He is going to win. And Jimmy Johnson kicked out. And another explosion right here. Drop kick take down by an explosion. The two mains was been take down, and I wish, and the Uber Beast got lucky of not getting his legs fully inside the explosion. And what the hell? The match is finished right here. Nobody won the contest, and the Uber Beast still attacking Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson. Looks like he doesn't know that the match is finished. They want to get a piece of each other. They don't have finished fighting. It's no more a match, it's a ball. And a tornado DDT by the Uber Beast over Jimmy Johnson. The Uber Beast taking him back. Beautiful move right here. Beautiful back body drop. Our oh, Camel Clutch submission locked in, STF submission by the Uber Beast over Jimmy. Watch about Uber Beast face, Uber Beast body, and Jimmy's too. Jimmy Johnson is done, man. Jimmy Johnson, he is freaking done. This is one of the most brutal match I've ever saw in GCW. And the Uber Beast 
is taking Jimmy James and Baker. The match is finished. They are still fighting. Uber driver. Uber driver. Once again, he is going for it. The Uber driver once again. Oh man, this was one of the greatest match I have ever seen in my entire life. What an incredible performance for these two men. And I don't think that the rivalry between these two are going to be finished like this. Nobody won. Nobody won this match. And I don't know what's going on right here because the they are going to face each other and GCW the reckoning this is the question ladies and gentlemen then we should ask next week next week the they are going to face each other at GCW the reckoning after the end of that controversial match but ladies and gentlemen the next match is the main event between Mikey Truth and gentlemen John Campbell Falls count anyway, and let's take a preview about Mikey True's comment to Kenny Time. Oh, first, we need to capitalize on that for being able to get the victory. No. Nope. He wasn't harder to capitalize. Shuffle kick did shuffle kick, we put Suffolk down. Sleeper has submission now. Sleeper has submission. Did Orphan will tap out? No, he doesn't tap. Objection in the ropes. Flying head scissor by Mikey Choose on Orphan. Pin pull. One. Two. And what the fuck? You know, let the truth be told. Kenny Tan, me and you go. Way, way back, and we've crossed each other's path, but never in the likes of this. We might be taking him up, taking Trident's stars up. Two packs, Mikey Truth in the map. Trident stars moves through a table, and Mikey Truth advance to the next map. Beautiful victory by Mikey Truth over Shining Star. Snap suplex, why Mikey Truth over the Wonder Boy? And Mikey Truth, he's going to go on the third rope. He doesn't do that normally. Third rail kick from the third rope. Pinfall time. One, two, and three. Yes, it's done. Mikey Truth gets the World Heavyweight Championship title shoot. It's going to be Mikey Truth versus Kenny Time for the World Heavyweight Championship at GCW. The recording. Sure, we've worked for many promotions before in the past, but we've never had these stipulations where gold was standing across. So I tell you this, at GCW, you will see Mikey True set foot in that ring and walk out with another reign as world champion. Kenny Time. If you don't believe it, I'm going to inform you with the truth. And that truthful injection is going to hurt. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, for the main event of GCW Collision, episode 4, Gentleman John Campbell versus the icon sorry the icon Mikey Choose so gentlemen John Campbell the IWE heavyweight champion of the world he is going to beat Mikey Chus the challenger for the GCW world heavyweight championship 
was in the finals and he also had a pretty strong comment he says about Kenny time in the video package we show you right before this episode this a GCW the returning this match is going to be a huge match and speaking of Mikey Chus here he comes The icon is making his way inside the squad seeker for his match against Gentleman John Campbell. It's your main event of the evening in GCW Collision Episode 4. It's going to be a huge main event right here as it's former world champion versus world champion as Gentleman John Campbell. He is the Imperial Wrestling Entertainment World Heavyweight Champion. Mikey Truth is looking to be the GCW World Heavyweight Champion. And here we go, let's the ball begin between these two men. So for and Mikey Truth trying to put down Gentleman John Campbell, you are going to need a lot of more than that, Mikey, to put that man down. And Gentleman John Campbell just proved him with a backbreaker, a suplex, and now a shoulder block. He is going to go on the third rope. Freaking shoulder block from the third rope. And Gentleman John Campbell continues to attack Mikey Chu's back. And another backbreaker, suplex by Gentleman John Campbell over Mikey Chu's. And Gentleman John Campbell continues to kick him out. He is dominating the match. He gets the damn point. And Gentleman John Campbell, what a big punch on Mikey Truth and a big elbow and another combination of kicks. We never saw Gentleman John Campbell at that level. What a huge level it could be for Gentleman John Campbell. He could raise a world title shoot once and one time when a world heavyweight champion will be crowned. He could think about that too. But he is going to be in a nine man pin for the elimination match to crown the new number one contender for the GCW Global Championship. And this is another beautiful backbreaker suplex by Gentleman John Campbell over Mikey Truth, projecting him in the ropes. Back body drop suplex once again. And Gentleman John Campbell is going inside, he's running the ropes and a running elbow. He is running once again. He is going high tonight. And Mikey Truth, he's backing up under his feet. And now Mikey Truth was test. And this is a strength arm submission maneuver by Gentleman John Campbell over Mikey Truth. And another shoulder block, but he missed it. And a freaking Frankensteiner on Gentleman John Campbell. Pinfall time. One, two, and he kicked out before the two count. Gentleman John Campbell kicked out. And another Hurricane Rana over. Gentleman John Campbell and he is running in the ropes. Mikey Truth with a running splash and a leg drop. So ladies and gentlemen, Mikey Truth versus Kenny Time is going to be the main event at GCW the Reconning. And this match is called the match of the decade between these two men. This promises to be a huge freaking great match between Mikey Truth and Gentleman John Camp uh, sorry and Kenny Time at GCW the recording. The match of the decade just like I say the greatest main event of the decade in the Empire. Better than Rampage main event. Better than OWF main event. Mikey Truth versus Kenny Time for the GCW Heavyweight Championship. And Mikey Truth begging Gentleman John Campbell to try a shoulder block but Mikey Truth just get the dead point with a beautiful power slam and he do it once again and it was a beautiful pie driver by the way and Mikey Truth is taunting the quad about that Gentleman John Campbell doesn't like that back body drop on Mikey Truth and another running elbow and another big combination of kicks and Mikey Truth Mikey Chu's, uh, sorry, and Mikey Chu's, Mikey Chu's chest. Uh, and a beautiful power slam, beautiful scoop slam by Gentleman John Campbell over Mikey Chu's, and Gentleman John Campbell taking, trying to dominate and to intimidate Mikey Chu's, but Mikey Chu's doesn't feel so much intimidated 
by Jenny Magen Campbell as Jenny Magen Campbell just trying to tell him to stay down and a beautiful side slam by Jenny Magen Campbell over Mikey Truth and a big punch and another big punch and another big punch and another big punch and another big punch and Mikey Truth reversed move was reversed into a double arm strength submission maneuver oh and that big punch over Mikey Mikey Truth is done sleeper hold submission wait you perfectly executed by Jenny Magen Campbell over Mikey Truth and ladies and gentlemen don't forget to like GCW Facebook page on facebook.com that global co wrestling and Jenny Magen Campbell is pinning Mikey Truth and Mikey Truth kicks out if you wanted to get each and every news about GCW and to get each and every update about the next upcoming show and every information about the new signings the deals and the rivalries and the match code of GCW Global Co Wrestling just go to our Facebook page facebook.com that Global Co Wrestling and Mikey Truth is running in the ropes and a big running splash and another leg drop Mikey Truth put down Jenna and John Campbell who doesn't stay on a lot of time and now Mikey Truth is just doing the perfect and the exact same submission maneuver than Jenna and John Campbell did to him and Mikey Truth takes Jenna and John Campbell beautiful woozy and leg sweep and a big leg drop and another big leg drop Mikey Truth running in the ropes big cartwheel kick big running cartwheel kick this was a huge maneuver by Mikey Truth over Jenny Manjan Campbell and a Frankenstein by Mikey Truth over him and the pinfall one two three Mikey Truth gets the victory for this match what a huge main event this was Mikey Truth just defeat Gentleman John Campbell he is going to go for the world title and speaking of the world heavyweight championship he just sent a message to Kenny Time and Mikey Truth is celebrating with his fans and what the hell is that? That's Kenny Time That's Kenny Time who's making his way on the brink we doesn't see him since two weeks but Kenny Times just check Mikey Truth coming to the ring not two weeks sorry one week just like last week since last week and Mikey Truth just beat Gentleman John Campbell the man that Kenny Time beats to advance in the finals of that world title tournament and Kenny Times he came here to confront Mikey Truth this match is going to be an epic confrontation confrontation at GCWD reckoning they are watching each other and it's eye for eye dust to dust and ladies and gentlemen no we are not going to see this before the reckoning I might think But ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to subscribe, it's the end of the show, good night.